Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n to the power of n equals n to the power of 2. Solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. So the first step will be to compare. You have a power a. And this equals a power b. Since the pieces are the same, you can have a equals b. Now, this is n power n equals n power 2. We can also say that n equals 2. By comparing the exponents since the bases are the same. So we also consider making use of another method, maybe natural log. I have natural log of n power n equals natural log of n power 2. So if you have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. So Meaning the n will come behind this, and also the 2 will come behind this. So, what you are going to have will be n times natural log of n equals 2 times natural log of n. So, from here, I can divide this by natural log of n, I can also divide this by natural log of n. This eliminate this, this eliminate this, I have n equals 2. Now, even at this point of the equation, n times natural log of n equals 2 times natural log of n, at this point of the equation, I can easily formulate a linear equation. What do I do? I move this over here, I have n times natural log of n, minus 2 times natural log of n equals 0. Now, we have natural log of n here. We also have natural log of n here. I can factor that out. I have natural log of n times. If you divide this by this, I have n minus. Divide this by this, I have 2. This equals 0. So right now, I can have natural log of n equals 0. As the first equation, I can also have n minus 2 equals 0 as the second equation. So, let's start with this one here. We have n minus 2 equals 0. I can solve for n. By simply taking this over here, I have n equals 2. That's my first solution. Now, to find the other solution here, I can consider natural log of n equals 0. Now what I need to do is to eliminate lateral log and make use of e power natural log of n equals e power 0. So right here you have e eliminate natural log, I have n equals e power 0. And e to the power of 0 is 1. We have n equals 1. In fact, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. You have n equals 1. So you have n equals 2, n equals 1. Now, the next thing you can do is to consider another method of solving this. You have n power n equals n power 2. So I can decide to divide this by n power 2. I divide this by n power 2. This eliminates this. I have n power n divided by n power 2, and this equals 1. Now, remember, if you have a power b, divided by a power c. This is just like having a power p minus c. So from here, I can have n power n minus 2 equals 1. So what I'm going to do will be to make use of natural log. I have natural log of n power n minus 2 equals natural log of 1. And from here, Remember, natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. So the n minus 2 here comes behind this. I have n minus 2 times natural log of n equals the natural log of 1 here is 0. So I have 0. So from here, I can have n minus 2 equals 0. Also have natural log of n equals 0. 
to so to solve for n here, I move this over here. I have n equals two. That is my first solution. Now at this point, I can also solve for n by eliminating natural log and make use of e as e power natural log of n equals e power zero. Please eliminate this. I have n equals e power zero. And to solve for n here, I have n equals e to the power of zero is one. I have two solutions again. So right now we have two solutions and what we can do is to check for each of these values of n. If they are going to satisfy the equation, we have check. We have n equals two. We also have n equals one. And the equation is n power n equals n power two. So let's start with when n is two. We have two power two equals two power two. And from here, two power two is four. This equals two power two is four. Now let's also consider when n is one. I have n power n equals n power two. So I'm going to have one power one. Is it the same thing as one power two? One to the power of one is one. And this equals 1 to the power of 2 is 1. That also has satisfied the equation. So guys, this is how you solve it. And finally, all the values of n. That's it. Thank you and goodbye.